so now we need something to go with those pretzels. We wanna dip them into something, give it an extra flavor. So we're gonna make a sauce, a mustard sauce. I need three tablespoons of orange juice. You're going to get an orange in your packet. You wanna go ahead and take your chef knife. I'm gonna move this one to one side and any sharp knife that you have will work. Basically, you wanna cut the orange in half and you wanna to remember to hold your hand into the claw shape and make sure you're in a safe position and you're just gonna cut it in half, okay? Put your knife in a safe area whenever you're not using it. You need to fill this three times. That will give you three tablespoons. So, very easy way, just squeeze your orange into your tablespoon measure, one. It should be about one orange. So now I'm ready to add my other ingredients. I'm gonna add my honey. I'm just gonna scoop it in there. I'm also gonna add my Dijon mustard. Again, I'm gonna scoop it in there. You can play with different sauces. There's many options out there for pretzels. We're also going to begin to do the whisking process or the mixing process. If you don't have a whisk, this is a whisk. If you don't have a whisk at home, you can use a fork. It'll give you the same recipe uh, at the end and you won't have to worry that you don't have a whisk at home. I'll do mine part with a whisk and part with a fork so you can see the difference. It's not really that different. I haven't added any salt and pepper yet. I'm gonna wait until the end. So I'm going to start whisking my ingredients together. Right now in here, all I have is my honey, my mustard, and my orange juice. You're going to start now to drizzle your olive oil inside. So let me switch hands. And you're gonna continue to whisk and drizzle slowly. What we're making right now is an emulsification. We're combining ingredients that don't wanna combine with each other. Remember, oil and water, they don't mix unless you do something to them so they will mix together. All right, so all of my olive oil is in there. Now I have a very nice sauce. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and it's very nice. I still need to add salt and pepper to it. So if you wanna add a little less salt, a little bit more pepper, that's when you taste and you adjust your seasonings. But the seasonings we gave you should be good for your recipe, so you can add them all. We're gonna add our salt and our pepper, give it a final whisk. Then you can put them, put your sauce in a very nice plate and when your pretzels are ready and they come out of the oven, you can put your pretzels around your dipping sauce. 